Hello everyone, today I am going to show you how to set up a flight plan and how to engage autopilot on the Airbus A320 in Flight Simulator 2020. Now as a disclaimer, I am not a real pilot. I have never taken any flight training and so these steps that I'm going to cover are things that I've learned while in Flight Simulator 2020 and in no way, shape or form are to be mistaken for real flight procedures in the Airbus A320. So I wanted to get that out there right from the beginning before we proceed. So let's begin. At the main menu, you're gonna go into the world map and then you'll select the Airbus A320. Now go back to the world map and select your departure city, which today we're going to depart from Phoenix, Arizona. And now we're gonna select our destination. And in this case, it's going to be San Diego International. Now you will notice that this route is a point to point flight plan, which is not realistic at all. So we want to create a flight plan that better demonstrates what a real flight plan represents. So what you're going to do is click in the drop down menu in the upper left hand corner of the screen and under IFR, which stands for instrument flight rules. We're going to be choosing this option because we will be following a flight path using our instruments to guide us. So under IFR, we have two options, high altitude or low altitude. If you're flying in an aircraft that cannot reach high altitudes, like a Cessna, you're going to choose low altitude. In this case, we're going to be flying an Airbus A320, which we can fly at high altitude. So we're going to choose that option for this flight plan. As soon as we select this option, you're going to notice a more realistic flight path complete with waypoints. Later on in this video, once we have engaged autopilot, your aircraft is going to follow this flight path as if your aircraft is on an invisible highway in the sky. So now click on fly. Before we take to the skies, we have a few things we need to set up while sitting here on the ground. And the first thing we have to do is we need to set the barometric pressure to standard. Next, we're gonna tell the aircraft what our maximum speed at cruising altitude will be. And because I know this aircraft and I've been flying it for a long time, I'm going to set the maximum speed to 325 knots for now. Now we're going to program our altitude that we want our autopilot to bring the aircraft to. And in this case, I'm just going to choose an arbitrary number of about 20,000 feet. Now you don't have to do the next step if you choose not to, but it can help you until you get more comfortable flying. So I'm going to open VFR map or visual flight rules map to be a guide as we fly the aircraft. Now we are ready for takeoff. As of now, we are not on autopilot just yet. I'm gonna be flying the aircraft manually until it is safe to make a few more adjustments once we get airborne. Once the aircraft is in a position that is comfortable and relatively safe to fly without having to pay much attention to it, what you want to do is turn on P1 or Autopilot 1. Now once this happens, your aircraft's navigation is now being controlled by the autopilot and you're going to see your aircraft follow the path. However, your speed and altitude are still in a manual state. Now you can leave it like this if you wish, but speed and altitude remain in your control. But what I want the aircraft to do is I want the aircraft to do everything on its own, which includes navigation, speed, and altitude. So to do this, the throttle has to be pulled back two clicks to the CL or climb position. You're going to be putting the left and right throttle bodies into the CL position. Now to ensure the CL climb has been enabled, you can look at the upper left hand side 
of your altimeter and in green it's going to say THRCLB which means auto thrust climb. What that means is the aircraft is going to automatically climb and descend based on what number you program into the computer for your altitude. So for example, if you put 30,000 feet into the computer and you are currently at 20,000 feet in the aircraft, it's going to begin to climb. You're going to hear the engines begin to add a little bit more thrust and you will notice on your altimeter another green indicator that's going to say OP CLB, indicating that the aircraft is in a climb. Now it's going to do the total opposite if you put a lower altitude in your computer. So for example, if you put 10,000 feet into the computer and you are currently at a higher altitude, you're going to hear the engines decrease in thrust and the OPCLB indicator is going to change to OPDES, indicating that the aircraft is now descending. So that's going to do it everybody. Again, I'm not a pilot and I've never taken any formal pilot training, so take what I said with a grain of salt. These steps that I covered today are things that I've learned in Flight Simulator 2020 and in no way, shape or form, as I said before, should be mistaken for real flight procedures in the Airbus A320. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, smack that like button and please remember to subscribe to this channel, enable notifications. And again, guys, this video was designed to show you how to create a flight plan and how to fly in autopilot on the Airbus A320. If you guys are real pilots, let me know in the comment section down below if what I said today made some sense. If there's any corrections that I need to be aware of, please let me know. And again, guys, thanks for watching this video and we will see you guys later. I'm Dave, we'll see ya. Have a good one.